Hello everyone, today I'm going to discuss the very basics of uh, PFSense firewalls. Nothing crazy like floating rules, the simple things like aliases and how they can be used or in what order to put your rules, you know, if you put a rule at the top versus at the bottom, what difference that makes and why. I uh, hope everyone finds this useful and uh, thanks for watching. Welcome. What I went ahead and did ahead of time is I went ahead and cleared pretty much almost all of my port forwards, my NAT rules, my firewall aliases, and my firewall rules. That way we can pretty much build them together now. So we're going to go ahead and start by going to firewall and then aliases. And what I'm going to do first is I'm going to make me a, a port alias. Ports underscore them whatever. And what these are, these are going to be um, admin ports used to access the PFSense web GUI. And in my case, it would be port 5000, port 22. Alright. Let's go ahead and apply. Now we're going to go ahead and make an alias for where my Plex is, or IP address is. So do IP, Plex Media Server, 192.168.10.10.10. Go ahead and hit save, go ahead and hit apply. I have uh, only certain people I allow access my, my Plex server, so I have DDNS set up on their routers. That way, my router will always know what their public IP is. Now, I'm not gonna put the real ones in here for obvious reasons, but I will put made up ones. We'll call this friendly DDNS, and we'll, we'll call this one blah, blah, blah. Calls one blah 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 two blah 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 but one that will be for my mom's router and my sister's router DDNS remote Plex server access so go ahead and save these and then now we're gonna add another one we're gonna call this one next cloud and we'll do two. We'll do one for the internal one, which if I remember right, is I think 202. Then we'll call this one the blah, 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 uh, DDNS dot me. We'll call this one the public host name. We'll call this one the local IP address. Scrub as next cloud aliases. Go and apply. And there are many more you can do. And maybe I'll do another video where I go into depth on it where you can lock out ingress and egress um, ports for LAN and WAN. But for now, let's just do this one. It's underscore plex. Just as an example. And then now we're going to go to firewall NAT. And now what we're going to do is we're going to create a port forwarding rule to allow that external communication. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and TCP WAN IPv port. Do the ports plex, right? Single host would be IP underscore plex. And the source will be another alias and that will be those um, friendly DDNS alias we made so now we are going to let it use the system default and we're gonna do that we're gonna add an associated rule allow DDNS friendly host to reach plex save oh what did I miss here save you see now we got that one right here so I hit apply oh, and I actually need to change this one all right now let's save apply 
then we'll go back over here to firewall and rules and we're going to see under WAN that one was created and let's go ahead and do this save apply go back to NAT and now we got to add uh, two more port forwards HTTP and then we're going to do another one for HTTPS so the source can be any TCP redirect target IP so we're going to do next cloud and we're doing HTTP so this is going to be port 80 We're going to go ahead and hit save. I don't really forget that again. Oh. Go ahead and hit save. Go ahead and apply. And then we're actually just going to make this simple. And we're going to duplicate this one. Change this to HTTPS. Change this to HTTPS. And then we're going to rename this one to HTTPS. Save, apply. Now we're going to go to firewall and rules and see that now we have our two for Nextcloud. Now a quick little overview of how these firewall rules work is with PFSense they have a top-down order. If I was to block everything up here and then I allowed things here, these things would not work because this first rule would be the one that it matched. Now let's say if I have a whole list of rules and then I say block everything else, then it will block everything else. It's all about where you put it and in what order. So let's go ahead and begin with this one. Now remember, we made an alias a minute ago. So let's go ahead and change this to other. We'll do ports, pfsense admin, pfsense admin. And see, as you see, it was the same thing as port 5000, which is up here, in case you were wondering. And what these are is, maybe I'll do another video where I do DNS resolving, but um, this forces everything on the network to be redirected to PFSense's DNS resolver versus going to wherever each individual device says. And the same thing right here with NTP. And the reason why is whether you have cameras or whatever else you have, you want all the times to match up. Right now with our current rules is it shows that pretty much everything's allowed, no matter what. Default pass all. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a block rule for IPv6 any 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 now block all IPv6 block I don't know why that changed to reject but block alright so block all IPv6 we're gonna apply let's go ahead and move this one here I always want my anti lockout first no matter what every single time all right, so now let's do uh, another rule. Let's go ahead and do, we can do ICPMP. Allow source, uh, let's do net destination to any. This will allow pinging. common rule people will do but it doesn't really work in this use case is people will have a block everything else rule they'll do any 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 and they'll call it you know something along the lines of block everything else so hit save and what we'll do is they will let's see how it's right here all right, we'll hit apply. Now, if I was to flip-flop these, now nothing will work because that's, well, except for everything above it. And that's the way that the rules are set up. So a lot of people have all their rules in front and then they'll put block everything else at the very end. It'll look something like this. But again, in this case, it doesn't matter because I'm allowing pretty much everything here and I'm blocking everything else. 
I will go ahead and make another video later on where I go into more depth on how you can secure your network a little bit better with um, more ports that you allow and don't allow and I forgot what the nickname for it is but it's pretty much the restrictive block everything deal with the fallout afterwards but um that's pretty much it for this firewall section I hope it was somewhat useful to people and I hope it helps everybody at least get started with firewall rules. Thanks.